We stand at the edge of the conflict, peering into the chaos on the horizon. Tajikistan, a country as fascinating as it is perplexing. Here, we train. We learn the landscape so we can use it to our benefit. We familiarize ourselves with fellow Marines who will walk at our side step by step through this madness. We know our responsibilities extend beyond tactical assignments and matters of strategy. We swore an oath to protect America. To do so, we must protect our brothers in arms at all costs. Each man places his life in the hands of another. Once exposed to the matter in which Marines here go about the business of war, we would have it no other way. We are a hard bunch. We feast on the fury of battle. But there are genuine concerns in Tajikistan a smart soldier must reconcile. As if the ambushes, IEDs, and harsh terrain aren't bad enough, things get worse. This battlefield has another player. A larger, more dangerous threat with its own agenda stands in the distance. This fighting force is now relegated to the shadows of hidden mountain passes or the inaccuracy of hit-and-run RPG attacks. They don't fight with antique weapons. They are the largest military power on the planet, the People's Liberation Army of China. Turns out the insurgents pose just as big a threat to Chinese security as they do to America. With one of their provinces directly in jeopardy, China seeks to hold ultimate sway in Tajikistan. As such, they play by their own rules. They have no interest in furthering the objectives of the United States. They outnumber the Marines and are not afraid to flex their military muscle. And when push comes to shove, as it always does when tensions are this high, everyone wonders what will happen when guns are drawn, pins are pulled, and talking stops.